back in my native environment, it seems like I live with the creeks and rivers, but it's by choice. I enjoy it. On a day like this, who wouldn't? It's uh, November the, let me think. Must be second, yeah, November the second. I lose track of time, must be getting old. I'm up here at Little River in Blount County, Tennessee. A place I come to quite a bit. Imagine the water's getting a little bit colder since there was some snow up in the mountains I haven't stuck my hands in yet. But I had a couple of hours and this is really the closest place from my house that I can come to. It's uh, about 24 miles. I always get some pretty decent color here. I've had some better days in places. Uh, you know, there's enough gold here to keep me uh, keep me occupied. I'm going to work in here for a little while and see what kind of color I can come up with. And uh, more or less same tools I normally use. I don't have my sucker here with me right now because <clears throat> it's just not that useful right here. I'm primarily working this gravel bar. But uh, you can see the pan, glass fire, shovel, backpack and gloves in case I need them. Uh, it's getting about that time of year where you need the gloves. The solar link gloves are the best. They keep the water out, keep your hands warm. Particularly if you put like an insulated cotton glove inside of it where your hands go. Get to be necessary uh, when you get into January and <clears throat> February and stuff because the water's quite cold. So I'm gonna get the panning in here, and I know you're probably thinking, well, that's about all he ever does. And not all I ever do, I do a lot of it. Uh, if nothing changes next weekend, I'll have a little uh, dredging video uh, over in North Carolina. We'll see how the plans hold up, but that's the plan right now. Nothing huge, probably a two and a half inch dredge. So, uh, anyway, I'll quit yapping and get to work. See if I can show you some color from here. The well, first pan showed some pretty decent color, and it was really only about half a pan of material. You can see I'm working a, a high gravel bar right here, and uh, it's a bit above the water level right now. Another month or so, it'll be underwater. We'll actually have water running through this, this little side channel. And kind of what I'm looking for in, in the gravel bar is concentrations of larger sized rocks. That one really didn't have any real large ones, it was mainly medium sized, so I'm not surprised that I got small flakes rather than larger ones, but uh, there's a decent amount in the pan. I don't know if you can see, they're, they're kind of small. Well, there's four or five colors in there, and you see some of the other native heavy, heavy minerals in here too. Uh, Elmanite, limonite, but uh, not bad for a first pan. So we'll run a little bit more right out of the same spot and see what I get into. So far my strategy's paying off. I'm staying on the top and kind of working my way around. You can see the little tiny uh, scraping area that I've been working and I'm getting four, five, six colors to the pan. Lots of other little heavies too. So I'm going to keep on uh, working at it and see what else I can get into. Maybe I can uh, trace it across and find a little better pay streak, but uh, so far it's, it's enough to keep me happy. That's what it's all about. Not only that, lots of blue sky, and it's actually getting kind of warm right now. The water's not there. It's not quite bad enough for gloves, but uh, if it was any colder, I'd be putting them on. Anyway, time to get back to work. You can see as I've moved around, I've gotten some, uh, into a little bit better uh, material. Piece count's not necessarily higher, but the pieces of gold are a little bit bigger. So uh, I'm counting one, two, three, four in there. So uh, I'm going to keep working in that direction and see what happens. As I happily work away in here painting some of this top gravel, I've noticed, and you can see I've spread out a little bit. I try not to go deep, I'm trying just to stay on top. And what I've noticed so far is that I'm getting color in every pan. Not a dry one yet. But the thing that's significant to me so far is I'm getting about the same amount of color in each pan. So when I've covered several square feet and I'm getting the same amount of color in each pan, that tells me it's a pretty decent sized pay streak. So uh, somewhere there's going to be higher concentrations, most likely a little bit further up. So uh, I'll start working my way what would be upstream when the water's actually up this high. But uh, so far it's looking pretty good. Quite a lot of small pieces. That's uh, one pretty good sized flake, quite a few medium sized. It's, it's still four, five, six colors for the pan occasionally, seven, maybe eight. A time or two I've only had one or two, but for the most part it's four to six. So uh, I'm going to keep on working it and I'll kind of keep you updated as I go and uh, try to see if we can develop this uh, pay streak a little bit more. 
All the nice fall weather and the sound of the water. Nothing like it. It's a really nice day. You even got a hawk flying around overhead. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, there he is. Up there looking for lunch, I guess. I'm still here working in the gravel bar, and uh, as I already knew, I start to get into some roots and stuff there, and I start to pick up a lot more heavies, and uh, along with it, a little bit more gold. Um, so my chore is to dig in around those roots and get material out of there, though it is kind of difficult. Probably I'll get the uh, hand scoop out and uh, get some material out that way. But uh, I'm really enjoying the weather. It won't last like this for long, I'm sure. But for now, I'm going to enjoy it and find me a little bit more color. After several hours of being here digging in the gravel, you can see, as I said before, I'm just kind of scraping off the top. Uh, when I have tried to go a little deeper, the kind of color has gone down. It's a pretty superficial deposit. Uh, so far, it's pretty uniform. Uh, I did finally get a pan with nothing in it. I finally did it. One pan with nothing. Uh, did get into a lot of heavy pieces of lime knife stuff. I found a nice little piece of starlight. Uh, pan before last. Not very big, but still really sharp. I hadn't, hadn't been pounded down by travel. Uh, I don't find starlight in here very often. The area is really not known for it. This geology really doesn't uh, present the opportunity for starlight to form, but somewhere up the river. Uh, some form somewhere. But, uh, it's still a really nice day, nice and warm, still on the breezy side. <clears throat> the sun's getting a little bit lower in the sky, which means it won't be long. I'll be packing up and heading back. So it's been a pretty good day for the gold, really good day for the weather. It's been a good day overall. Had a few morning clouds, they blew out. So uh, I'm going to get back to work here and see if I can turn up a little bit more gold. And uh, I'll see you in a few. About time to call it a wrap here at the river. It's been a pretty good day for gold. Uh, I only had one pan that I didn't have any in. The rest of them I had at least some amount. Uh, the sun's starting to get a little bit lower. I got to get back to the house and uh, I'll get it uh, panned out and cleaned up when I get home and get a picture of it. But just for uh, talking purposes, uh, you see my concentrates in there and it's uh, full of pieces of limonite and other heavy chunks of lead. Quite a bit of gold in there too. But, uh, anyway, I'll get it cleaned up when I get home and uh, take a picture of it so you can see what I got. So for probably three and a half hours work, it's not going to be a huge amount, but it's going to look pretty good for just a short period of time. And I really never even got in the water other than Japan. It's kind of working off the top of this gravel bar. So uh, anyway, I'm going to quit flapping and get off of here and and call it a wrap.